Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a waiting list on your Shopify store. So this is what usually will happen. Let's say that you have a product that is out of stock. So this is my list of product and apparently I have this one that is out of stock. Now let's take a look at how it will look like on my online store. So I'm going to go and click on my online store, view your store. And then it's going to show my store. Right off the bat, if I scroll down, I'm going to find this product right here that is currently out of stock. So most people will choose to hide their product by going to their product list and then change the status of their product from active to draft and then saves it so that no one will know that they are having a product that is sold out. So what it does is that it's going to hide that product and now my customer are no longer able to see that specific product. The downside of doing that is that it's going to decrease the awareness of the product. So for example, if someone already bought that product through our website and maybe they refer it to their friends and their friends will want to buy the exact same one, but apparently they don't find that product on your Shopify store. So let's say that it's a product that you create on your own, you produce it on your own. It, what's going to happen is that they're going to think that you no longer produce that product and it's going to be a shame that maybe in the future they will not try to find it on your Shopify store. So instead of hiding the product that are currently out of stock on your Shopify store, what we're going to do is we're going to create a waiting list instead. Waiting lists are made to create a notification button so that once you got your product back in stock, you will be able to tell your customers that are interested on that product that the product are now back in store and they will be able to purchase it. So to create a waiting list, you will need to install an app on your Shopify and there are actually several apps that are going to allow you to create a waiting list on Shopify. So let's go to app.shopify. And over here, you're going to be able to take a look at some applications such as back in stock. So back in stock is one of the keywords that you can use if you would like to try to find an application to create a waiting list. Some of them are Notify, and then we got Apicon, we got Vitals, etc. And there is this one called Waitly. Waitly, this one is also can be used to create a notification button for any waiting list. But the one that I'm using is actually this one back in stock. So you can explore and try to find the application that are going to suit you the most. So today we're just going to use the one that I've already installed, which is this back in stock one. And I'm going to show you how you can use it to create a back in stock button. So over here on the dashboard, you're going to be able to see the sign up, the notification set, the conversion value, your recent activity or most wanted product. And you can also customize, you can also customize how your notification will work. When customizing, I'm going to be able to customize my campaign, my templates, product page button, etc. Now let's try and take a look at the templates of the notification. And as you can see, Right off the bat, it's already reading the product that is out of stock, which is this one, the Dainty Choker one. And I'm going to be able to, let's say, change the subject. For example, right now it's saying, the subject is saying Dainty Choker is available now from Eyes of the Sun. And then the email address that are going to send that notification. I can also add a logo if I want to. And if you see this product title, variant title wording, it's because this is from the system. So it's going to follow on which product is currently out of stock and which product does your customer sign up with. You can also change the text color if you want. 
or the body of the text etc so you can change everything from here if you if you're satisfied with that we can just go ahead and click publish English template setting and then let's take a look at the product page button so over here you can also see at how the product page are going to look like for example right here i already have the one that is actually templates from back in stock and i can change the wording let's say i want to say just notify me instead of notify me if it's back in stock and i can also choose whether i want it to be bold or not i don't think i want it to be in bold and i can move this around so i can move the button positions around let's say i want it to be on the right edge and then i can also change the background color if i want to change the text color border color etc or i can also use a custom image if i have so let's say i have some kind of image that looks like this and i can always use my own pictures instead of using the templates one but i'm just going to go with templates one and then I can also choose on the behavior of how this button is going to work with. So for example, so I can choose to show this button if I have any pre-order item. And I can also hide the button when inventory is not tracked by Shopify. And I can also settings when this button should show. So for example, the default for when this button will show is if the stock quantity level is 1. So it says that the button will show the variant inventory quantity is smaller than this number. And then once i satisfied with it, I'm going to go ahead and save it. So you can create a notify button for a single product or on collections page. So let's say you have a collections that are out of seasons or something like that and you are and you no longer have that stock, but you might sell it again in the near future, you can create a notify button for a collection. And you also have the options to create a sign up form for your customers. So now that I already have my so that I already have my notify me button, I'm going to try and take a look at my website to see whether it's going to work or not. But first, I think I'm going to have to change the product that is currently out of stock back to active, save it. And now I'm going to see how it looks like on my website. So this is the product and let's see if I do have the button. Yes, now I do. Now I got the notify me button and I'm going to test if it's going to work or not. So here I'm just going to add my email address real quick. Let's say, okay, and then I'm going to click on notify me. And it just said that the notification has been registered. Now let's see what will happen if I change on the inventory. Let's say now I have five. Five, which means that I no longer have any sold out product. I'm going to try and check on my email and see if it works or not. All right, so as you can see now, I got the email, which means that it's working. I would just say that the product that I want is now in stock. And let's see if I click on buy now. It's going to bring me into my Shopify product page. And then if you go back to your back in stock, you will be able to see the notification that are sent and on what product was it sent. So by creating this, you will be able to see on which product that is sold out or which product that you no longer sell that actually pique the interest of your customer. And this waiting list is going to be very helpful for you to expand your business and take a look at the popularity of your product. So that is it. That is how you can create a waiting list for your Shopify store. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so, so much for watching and have a great day.